in six months in Canada, I mm. see uh, as many beautiful women as I see uh, during my first six hours in Ukraine. We talk about your zone of success. Yeah. Would you agree that there is a zone of success if the man looks in this zone of success, he yes. can be successful? I'm much more beautiful in bikini. Yes, oh, and we're they all, of thinking and with the wrong they all want <laughs> having sex with him. Not old man, mature man, it's Ma a different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but really hook mm -hmm. the man and make sure that hook is wedged in there good. Yeah. He's invested her totally. He's in love with a picture. Good morning, Dima. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Yourself? Good, good, good. Thanks for sitting and talking to me today about uh, your scammer check service. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for me. And uh, so this morning we're talking about your expertise mm -hmm. in spotting scammers. Mm -hmm. You're one of the industry's foremost experts uh, because you've been doing it since 2010, right? Spotting scammers. Yeah, that's basically. true. Yeah. Both agency scammers and professional Ukrainian Russian women scammers, right? Yeah, those are two different types of scams and uh, we'll discuss today how to distinguish uh, one, the first of the second one, and how to be protected in each case. Perfect, perfect. So, in this video, um, we want to convey to guys that we have partnered up, and now we're launching your scammer check service completely on the house for the first time. So now it's free. Yeah, yeah. Right? It will be absolutely free for for all the clients. Yeah. Right, right. So it's it's for us, you know, a pay it forward service because there's so many guys out there that are getting scanned both by agencies and by the ladies that we feel you know it's just something we need to do uh, to help guys out and this is a billion dollar industry that's predominantly scam based right yeah that's absolutely true right so uh, what we're also launching is a forum and so it'll be a forum uh, we'll give you the URL at the end of the video where guys can go and if they're looking at uh, whatever agency it is they can go to that particular agency page on the forum they can rate the agency they can ask their questions and we will respond to them there on their scammer uh, inquiry and uh, guys can apply previous negative experience uh, of men uh, to their own case and uh, see if it's a scam or not. Exactly. Guys can banter back and forth on the forum and say, hey, this is what happened to me, what happened to you. Uh, yeah. And, and, uh, and if the case is more complicated, if he's not sure, he can always contact us and uh, we'll, uh, we'll make this check for him. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, okay. Um, so that said about that, also we'll have a rating. Um, so it'll be a five-star rating uh, on the forum so they can rate the agency uh, and that way it will be a place where guys can come and look at what is uh, real unbiased public rating client-based rating of all the different agencies out there okay let's jump right uh, into how do you identify the two types of scammers? First of all, there's the agency scammers and then there's professional scammer woman. Maybe talk for a moment that uh, you, were, you were informing me that it used to be the uh, women that were predominantly the scammers w way back when, 1998, when yes. we got into this industry. Yes. And now it's flipped. Now, now it's, it's flipped. I'm absolutely sure that uh, dating sites and marriage agency have a uh, bigger scam volume than uh, professional scammers. Mm -hmm. So would you say that predominantly most profiles on, like if you're basically, in a nutshell, if you're paying for communication online with a girl, it's overwhelming probability that it's a scam. Is that correct? Yes, because in fact, in case of uh, dating site uh, scams, uh, most dating, dating, dating sites like Anastasia or Charm Date or Victoria Bright, uh, they are just brokers, they are middlemen uh, between a client and local and uh, local agencies. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's local agencies uh, from Russia, Ukraine are uploading uh, profiles to that website and it's them who control all the correspondence uh, and all the job is done by them and so all the scams are done by them and uh, no one can control what is happening and of course most of the profiles they upload are fake well the, pro the uh, those girls exist but the problem is that they are either they're married or they have a boyfriend or well they're they, uh, they're not motivated. Or uh, their intentions are not pure. Basically, they're yeah. not looking for or, a yeah, relationship or, with a or they, Yeah, Or they subscribe just to make money. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So, 
basically to give men a, a clear picture of what happens typically in the agency scams right the big boy agencies they have um, employees that manage these beautiful women's profiles pictures are real names real right names real uh, yeah name is real uh, pictures real name well na yeah name well, is real not any, correspond any, to any, 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 any anyway anyway uh, the man he doesn't he doesn't see uh, the last name of a person all the information right. he has uh, is first name and age and sometimes beautiful bird. Picture. yeah beautiful yeah. Th that's all he has and and a, a fake profile yeah 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 so basically what uh, the big uh, Bohemian agency does is has an employee which could be a man and he manages 25 beautiful woman profiles so it's it's actually this this person this babushka maybe or this uh uh, man that that you're chatting with in reality uh, yes if you if you open a, a headhunter uh, website a which, uh, sorry uh, headhunter uh -huh. headhunter uh, a Ukrainian a Ukrainian site uh, where you can find job and you go uh, to the section of uh, translations it's saturated of uh, the ads marriage agencies looking for uh, English translator working hours uh, from uh, uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, yeah, make lots of money, get lots of gifts. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Promising salaries. Mm -hmm. uh, what five times the, in, the 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 average salary of Ukraine yeah. or more? Yeah. So very good money. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen that lots on VK too. It's loaded. Yeah. There's even people uh, selling entire portfolios of of uh, pictures, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Of uh, of. Uh, this is true. Uh, of profiles, right? So you yeah. can buy a block of 800 women profiles. Yeah, yeah. This is and uh, another problem is that uh, let's say uh, a local uh, agency is trying to find um, beautiful, beautiful girls who will help who will help them to scam men, uh, but uh, sometimes real uh, real uh, women subscribe and yeah. i can't say that uh, on sites like anastasia or charm date or 100 percent are fake this is not true right there is a bigger part which are fake and yeah. those are the most beautiful girls right and there is a second part which is small right. uh, probably it's uh, women between uh, 30 and 45 uh -huh. who can who can be real uh -huh. well and the older the the probability that they're real are, are is higher right like a lady that's 48 she's probably real yes right yes whereas the 25 year old and drop that gorgeous she's probably fake yeah and on these big uh, sites also you said there's an algorithm that they run that the women that pull in the most revenue they're uh, near the top of course uh, of course they get most of, of the, course. the, the, the eyeballs on they, they created the sites to make money yeah and they don't put don't put a babushka on the first page yes <laughs> you have top models in bikini 18 year old yeah. and who uh, reply positively to uh, all the uh, all the men who who are interested yeah exactly exactly let's talk for a moment about the ukrainian women and uh, maybe <laughs> impress upon guys that any site they see women in bikinis or any kind of skin showing uh, it's not a, a, it's not it's a fake uh situation i mean it's a hook it's a gimmick yeah definitely Real ukrainian yes. women don't do that it's completely anti-cultural yeah right. yeah this is absolutely true uh for example if uh if you are corresponding with someone for two or three months and uh, she's sending you a private picture in bikini this is possible but she will not expose uh, a picture in bikini for everyone uh if she's looking for uh, long-term rela relations that's that, 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 that's clear and all those sites with the top models in bikini 18 year old uh this is the first sign that this is a scam it's site a Scam. And it gets even worse. They're in negligee, you know, lingerie, very provocative sexual. This is not a yeah. sincere reason. Yeah, this is, this is, yeah, this is. They uh, do not behave like that at all. They're very humble and modest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very old school values. Okay, cool. So that's uh, some tips for the guys to be able to spot the agency scammers. Um, anything more you want to say about agency scammers agency sc yes sure uh, because uh, that well the agency scammers uh, it's a, a motivation scam it's not a, the identity scam because the profiles well they are fake but they belong to real to real person they are they're re they really exist because they're well, real but they're fake very confusing yeah <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, so it's a real woman it's, it's a, a real, real picture it's a real first name 
last name, uh, address, email, uh, in most of cases men do not have access to this information. Right. But if uh, for some uh, sites they have, <coughs> and uh, it can be a partially true information. Mm -hmm. But the biggest problem of uh, such sites is uh, that uh, mm, you have to check the motivation uh, of the woman. And this is the part that's really messed up, because we can't conclusively verify somebody's motivation, but you've been doing this for so long. Yeah. Uh, you know that these are, you know what the scammer profile is, you know that, that, that the women on most of these sites are, mm -hmm. are scam. It's a scam profile, it's a hook profile. Mm -hmm. She's not really into yeah. the guy. And as it's difficult to verify the motivation, mm -hmm. we, can verify, we can verify the site, if it's a reliable site, right. because there are some signs then can tell you uh, if a site is real and honest or it's full of scam profiles. And right. I, I will give now you some t tips how men can do it uh, by themselves. Perfect. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, you have to go. You have to go to the to, to the uh, profiles of the ladies. Um, well, uh, I have already told if if you see uh, many girls in bikini. So it means uh, uh, that the site is saturated with fake profiles. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing, um, create a profile, but uh, leave just uh, basic information like first name, mm -hmm. first name, uh, mm -hmm. height, uh, weight, and that's it. That, that's it. No picture, no, no, no picture. age, uh, no, Even no job. Even put in the comments. Um, I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for sex. For example, yeah, yeah. you'll still get inundated yeah, with yeah. the And uh, next day, if you uh, open uh, open your profile on that site and uh, you have uh, plenty of messages from uh, from beautiful women, yeah. of course, it means that uh, this is a scam. It's all uh, it Yeah, no. yeah. Uh, if you have if you have message if you have a message, uh, well, if when a person asks. Uh, uh, I'm potentially interested, but I didn't see your picture, I didn't see your age, can you give me more information? Uh, it's a good sign, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that uh, this is an honest site, but uh, it, it's, a good, it's a good site because uh, some local agencies, they are good psychologists and they understand what to write uh, to keep men's attention. Yeah. Uh, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good site and a good girl, just because she replies, oh, uh, can you send me your picture, tell me about no, yourself, no, no, no. still doesn't still mean. Still doesn't mean, still okay. doesn't mean. Next thing to do. Uh, open the profiles uh, between 18 and 25. Mm -hmm. If you have uh, many profiles of this age, this is a scam website, because uh, Russian and Ukrainian uh, women of this age are very rarely interested by meeting a foreigner. Very it's probably, rarely. probably 2%. So yeah. if the number of profiles uh, of uh, girls from 18 to 25 exceeds, let's say, 5%, it's a scam site. Mm -hmm. It's a scam site. Uh, because, of course, uh, girls from 18 to, to, to 25, they are most beautiful and they attract more men. Uh, and, and, and just on that point quickly, uh, because there's still lots of available Ukrainian men at that age group that are, that they prefer, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, Straight yeah, up, um, yeah. they prefer, Ukrainian women prefer a relationship with a Ukrainian man. Yeah, that's and by the time they're 30 and maybe with child, a single mom, and they just can't find a good Ukrainian absolutely man, that's true. when they open absolutely, up their horizons. Absolutely true. And that's the good girl we're looking for there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next tip. Uh, if you are in US and Canada, it's easier. It, this tip will be easier for you. Uh, just uh, go to the website uh, in the evening. So it should be night, it should be uh, about four o'clock in the morning Ukrainian time. So the time... Uh, when everybody's sleeping. Everybody's sleeping, yeah, because if you go one, one, uh, 1 a.m., well, you can say that many people are not sleeping yet. Yeah. Go three or four o'clock in the morning Ukrainian time. Uh, and uh, have a look who is online. For available for for video for video chat for just chat tons or just women. online tons of women or even if you have more than five it's already, it's already a scam because yeah, exactly. they have they have to sleep that uh, that time but scammers as I told you in the beginning uh, 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 the uh, in the job offer they they say uh, the working hours are from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. why uh, because they target the American 
market because uh, uh, Americans they have money and they are ready to pay for to chat with beautiful with beautiful girls yeah it's it's the predominant marketplace too for men is America yeah 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 so that's great I think that's your third tip that's yeah a this fantastic is this, tip. yeah anything else Oh, uh, many others. Uh, well, of, co of course, uh, you, you can visit our forum and uh, definitely you will find this website on our forum and you will see the testimonials, the rating. Uh, the rating of the individual agencies is huge. Yeah, it's yeah. publicly, unbiased public clients, men rating the different agencies, uh, yeah. w w one to five stars. So that tells you everything right now because it's the reputation of the site. But let's backpedal a second. Can we not make a blanket statement that says if you're paying for chats, paying for letters online, you have a blank percent probability of it being scam. What percent is that? If you're paying for chat or if you're paying online for a relationship, what's the chance you're in a scam? It's not real. She doesn't have real intentions. 80%, 80%. Only 80%? Mm, the right couple of honest sites, uh, uh -huh. at least 80%, I think, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, okay. I thought it was much higher. Um, okay. So, how do you find a good, honest uh, site for paper letter, paper chat? Because you, you kind of threw me off. I didn't know there were any. Uh. No, there are there are some. Uh, those are not uh, biggest biggest sites uh -huh. because big money is uh, can be made only on scams. Right. Okay. So uh, they're not the ones you're seeing. On, if, you, if there's Google ads running, no, uh, YouTube ads, uh, online banner ads. Those are not agencies that invest uh, so much money because if you if they're honest, uh, yeah, they are honest and uh, uh, their revenue is uh, uh, is limited uh, because you have to understand. For example, you have an honest dating sites and you have a, a, a scam dating site, and if you compare the profiles. Of course, a man who, who is not aware about scams, he will choose a scam dating site. Because, yes, because girls are much, are much more beautiful in bikini. Yes, uh, and we're they all, of thinking and with the wrong they head. all want <laughs> having sex with him. <laughs> yeah. we're thinking uh, until he stops paying. <laughs> We're guilty of thinking with the wrong head, as guys. Yeah, Too much of the time, anyway. Yeah, so uh, and that's why we. Get this hooked. is also uh, not only uh, dating sites uh, and marriage agency who are bad. Uh, it's also men who do not think they don't want to be realistic. I know. They don't want to be realistic. Yeah, it's well, you know, honestly, this industry has brainwashed men because, you know, a 55 year old guy or 60, 60 year old gentleman will sit it down at the computer and he's looking at all these beautiful profiles of these ladies, 25 years old, that are stunningly gorgeous on the cover of any magazine. And they say, looking for a man, she's 25, from 35, man from 35 to 65. What is that? It's not real. It's not. It's not Never real. Never is it yeah, real, right? Yeah. And this is another tip to see if uh, if a, if an agency is honest uh, on uh, honest or not. Yes. Uh, if you get if you get messages from a girl who is like 20 years, 15, 20, 25, 30 years younger than you, uh, it's 100 uh, percent. It's one 100 percent scam. Scam. Yeah. It's because 100%. let's talk about this for a second. The age gap trap, I call it. Um, the industry preys on men brainwashing them into believing, like I was alluding to, that they can find and marry a much younger, beautiful Ukrainian woman with a 20-year, let's say, plus age gap. That is the rare, rare exception, correct? 20, uh, I think that if we look uh, the statistics of couples uh, in Ukraine, and let's say in US, mm -hmm. the age difference of an average Ukrainian couple, which be, will be bigger, Mm -hmm. than the age difference uh, of a couple in the US. Right. So uh, this is true that Ukrainian uh, women are often interested by uh, mature men. Right. But... Not old men, mature men, it's ma a difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my personal opinion is that uh, 10 and up to 15 years uh, difference uh, it can it can work, and we had a lot of marriages uh, when the difference was, was between um, ten and fifteen years old. If you go over, 
We had a couple of marriages when the difference was uh, 20 years. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have to say, men who were in a really good shape. Mm -hmm. Looks Look, good, looks younger. Yeah. And let's call a spade a spade. This is a man that is confident, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he looks good for his age and he uh, is a good provider. So he's got a good occupation, maybe owns his own business. He provides safety and security for the lady. Yeah, is that yeah, fair yeah, to say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we, uh, for example, uh, let's imagine you, and you are sixty. You, you are sixty year old. Yeah. And you are looking like this, mm -hmm. and uh, you have a lot of uh, chances to meet a thirty-five or forty-year-old uh, woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is this is possible. Mm -hmm. This is possible. Well, be careful but with what you just said. Uh, <laughs> Because we're kind of steering guys the, the other way. You just, you yeah, just painted a yeah, but this is those are but those are exceptions. Those are exceptions. the The average is the average is uh, five, ten years old difference. Uh -huh. This is this is the reality. Uh, in most of case, uh, if the difference is bigger than uh, ten or fifteen years, uh, and a real girl, she will say not. Uh, of course, on a dating site, she will, she will, she will be interested if, uh, uh, even if the difference is 15, 20, 25 years. Yeah, or, or more, 35, yeah, 40, 30, 40, 40 yeah. years. I, 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 yeah, because I, they, I'm not even talking about this. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, it's just, yeah, the guys should know. But the reality is guys just don't know. They want to believe. So they need to hear guys, experts, talking about what really happens in this industry and what's real and what's fantasy land where they're never going to be successful. That's why we talk about your zone of success. Yeah. Would you agree that there is a zone of success if the man looks in this zone of success, he yes. can be successful? There's way more uh, incredible women in Ukraine than in Canada. You've lived in Canada for how long now? Oh, uh, for eight years. Eight four years. years. And I can say one, only one thing. In six months in Canada, I mm. see uh, as many beautiful women as I see uh, during my first six hours in Ukraine. So this, this, is, this is the this is the difference. But but you know this is not only uh, the question of beauty. Not only this beauty. is this is a question of traditional family values. Yes, yes, that's because huge. that's what guys want. That's just void in the Western world. Most of the Western world, um, Ukraine is like back fifty years yeah, in terms that's of true. traditional values, traditional um, marriage roles of the man and the woman. And guys in the Western world, I just get told this day after day, I'm tired of being emasculated. I'm tired of the woman uh, trying to wear the pants. Yeah, in Ukraine, family values are predominant, right? It's the main value in society. Family, right? Yeah, that's true. It, well, it, 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 st it starts to change a bit uh, like... Uh in 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 big cities, uh, for example, for Kiev, uh, but uh, in the majority, you still uh, have the opportunity. Probably, it will disappear uh, in time. In, in time, yeah, in, in 10, 15, 20, 25 years. But for the man, for the moment, uh, a man are lucky to have the possibility to find a beautiful woman with traditional family values uh, in Ukraine. They just have uh, to be realistic in their search. Uh, right. If they're in their zone of success, they're age appropriate, like you say, 10, 15 years max. Max, max. Right? Um, and they're not looking at only runway model, like they're not looking for a trophy wife, basically. Uh, their chances of success in Ukraine are way high, uh, right? If it's, yeah, if, like, if, if a man uh, has realistic criteria, it's almost 100% uh, guarantee. Right. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that because I, I see and experience the same thing. So, but but the, th the thing that eats me up inside is there's so many guys that are eligible bachelors, you know, that can be successful here, but they're playing in fantasy land. So mm -hmm. they'll never be successful because they're going for the trophy wife. But it's just outside uh, yes, and reality. The, yes, yes, absolutely. And I, I had so many men. Uh, who, who were about to be scammed, who were scammed, and uh, when I tell them, here are the proofs that this is a scammer, they say, thank you very much, but now, can you help me to find same same style girl, well, I'm, I'm, I'm 50, she was, the scammer was uh, 20, can you find me same girl, but real? <laughs> yeah. No, I no. can't, no, I can't. Because <laughs> if it was real, why would companies have to scam you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, it's about being realistic. So, yeah. so those are some great tips. Dima, let's talk about professional lady scammers. Now, we've talked about all the agency scammers, which again is the predominant scams. It's most of the scams guys are going to encounter today, but there's still a fair number of professional scammers out there, right? Maybe. Yes, I like to deal with professional scammers because, yeah. uh, well, uh, with professional scammers, uh, it's easier to provide uh, proofs uh, that uh, the person uh, uh, is a scammer, that this is a non-existent person. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, how uh, does the uh, professional scam work? Scammers, uh, they uh, create a uh, a fake profile, uh, they take pictures on Facebook and they... Uh, mm. From Facebook or somewhere online. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Or they just pay for a picture or wherever. No, they don't pay. They just uh, right. steal. They just uh, steal pictures, okay. and they uh, put it on uh, free dating sites. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is this is why free dating sites are to be uh, uh, avoided. You get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because they're saturated. They're saturated with fake profiles. More than ninety percent of profiles of beautiful women are absolutely fake. Uh, so they create a profile uh, and they start receiving messages or sending messages to, ma uh, to a man and in a couple of weeks well they get about 200 let's say 200 200 emails mm -hmm. 200 emails uh, uh, after that they uh, delete their profiles and they start uh, corresponding directly that's exactly what a man wants he does not want to, uh, even if the site is free he want uh, direct uh, direct contact so they start, uh, they start uh, direct communication by email and it works perfectly well. Uh, the woman is interested mm -hmm. by him uh, uh, and uh, in about three or four weeks she's fall, uh, she falls in love with him. Mm -hmm. And then of course she wants to, uh, to come to his country. Mm -hmm. But she needs a visa, a ticket. Well, she can buy a, she can uh, get a visa, but she can buy a ticket, and she need a, a little bit of, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Grivna. yeah, Grivna, <laughs> dollars, <laughs> dollars, no, dollars, yeah, yeah. dollars, yeah, uh, to help. And uh, well, uh, a man, uh, well, he gets pictures, and she's sending more pictures. More pictures, right? Uh, yeah, more pictures. Very innocent pictures of her in the garden with babushka, uh, with her child first at the lake. Yeah, first, like and. Oh, kinds of so natural and real yes. looking pictures, yes. right? Yes, not, not professional in no. the studio, very yeah. natural. Selfies, yeah. all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all kinds of pictures you can find on Facebook. Uh, and then uh, by the end of the scam, uh, pictures uh, can be uh, like more sexual, uh, have more sexual character. Mm -hmm. More skin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, motivate, to motivate men <laughs> to pay money. Uh, and. Uh, so the man he, he sends money, mm -hmm. but it's only the beginning of the, of a scam. Mm -hmm. So how how much money to first first time they ask for? Not Did much, they? not much. It's less than one thousand. Uh -huh. It's less than one thousand for for any number of things, right? Yeah, in, in most of cases it's, it's for international passport or for visa to come see him. Yeah, to mm -hmm. come to see him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and and he has not ever met her. He typically has never been to Ukraine or Russia to meet her. He, at this no, point. no, no. He has never seen her. In, no, because she doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Another thing, he can't uh, see her on Skype because uh, she lives in a small village, uh, yeah. or she doesn't. No Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. Oh, she doesn't have. She doesn't have a phone or something like that. Yeah. So let's just set the record straight. Wi-Fi is every everywhere in Ukraine and Russia, yeah. even in the outback of Siberia, mm -hmm. and cell phones are everywhere yeah. in the two e countries. If, uh, if uh, from uh, uh, 12 to 85 year old, everyone has a cell phone. Right. Yeah. So yeah, a if little cheap Nokia, old one, but it's not a smartphone. But everybody has a yeah, cell phone. Yeah. So if a person says, uh, "I don't have a, a cell phone," it means. This person is uh, under 12 or over 80, 85. Yeah. It's up to you to decide. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one way he can test that it's a scam. Ask to talk on Skype. Yeah. She either has her own laptop with a video, with a camera rather, or she can access her girlfriends or at an internet cafe or somewhere. She but can Skype uh, you but uh, this, really uh, this is a basic scam pattern. Uh, the uh, advanced scammers, uh, they show up on Skype. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this is the bad thing. Wow. This is the bad thing, but uh, we still 
we can uh, find them. Yeah, yeah, still we mm -hmm. can find them. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is not a problem for us. It, it can be a problem for a man so, who is now, he's absolutely sure that she's wrong. So he sends uh, money for, 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 for she, she's asking for money for the second time. This, uh, this time, for example, for, for medical insurance. So he sends the second time. Uh, and now uh, she discovered that she has a, a credit. She bought something for uh, a credit and she can't leave uh, Russia before paying this credit. She will be stopped at the border. Mm -hmm. she, she, what do you she, mean credit? Uh, uh, she bought she bought something uh -huh. uh, on the lease. Ah, uh, oh, she has an IOU, a debt. Yeah. She has to pay yes, it off yes, before yes, she comes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, another thing they can tell, for example, to, I have to uh, show fifty day, fifty dollars per day of my uh, stay uh, in US or. For immigration, they yeah, need to show a certain amount of money in their bank account. $50 per day if they're staying in the U.S. or mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. So send me the money and when I'm done with it, yeah, I'll yeah, send it back. I send it back, don't worry. And of course, uh, the, well, uh, he's already on the hook because if he sends money for the first time, if he doesn't do it for the second time, he automatically lost uh, the first money he sends and automatically uh, uh, he will not see the girl, she will not come. Yeah, the, the guy gets hooked from the beginning because he sends a bit of money and then he and then he doesn't want to upset yeah, her and because then, then yeah, it's he doesn't want to upset her, so it's an emotional factor mm -hmm. and also he thinks, well, yeah, she'll be mad at me if and I don't send any more money and then it's he's lost everything. And they're great in Photoshop. They send uh, a copy of a visa, a copy of a passport which is fake, a copy of a uh, plane tickets uh, th 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 that are fake. Yeah. And when you get all those documents, yeah. Well, Many must. Uh, yeah. If you're going to be stupid enough to buy a plane ticket for her <laughs> or give her money, don't give her money for the plane ticket, buy it yourself if you're going to be stupid enough. <laughs> yeah. But the good news here is that uh, she gives him all the information because he has to send money uh, via Western Union. Mm -hmm. She gives uh, a, a first name a la and the last name that are real. Mm -hmm. And so we can check if uh, the pictures belong, uh, correspond to this first and last name. Right. And uh, in most of cases, th this is not a case uh, because pictures were stolen, address is fake, uh, and the uh, first and last name be probably belong to, a, uh, to, to an old woman uh, who is paid like uh, 5% right. just for using, for using, for using his uh, her passport. Uh, she goes to Western Union uh, to take money. She keeps 5% five, five for her right. and she gives to, uh, the rest for the scammers. Right. I, I heard, in fact, that uh, if you go to Western Union with uh, they, they don't look verify the photo on the no, passport, no, no, no. just the name, just and they'll the give name. the money. N not even the address, yeah. Oh, just the name. Just the name, first so and last name. Any, uh, it, it any can be any real name in yes, in yes, yes. can get the money at Western Union. So they pay them a little commission and mm -hmm. Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we need to be able to do the professional scammer check? We uh, need first and last name, uh, birth date and or address. Uh -huh. or, and uh, or address. Or uh, pa just a copy of her passport. And pictures. Mm, we don't need the pictures. We don't need the pictures. We don't need the pictures because in most of cases, sometimes we need, if a person is uh, real, we need pictures to compare. Mm -hmm. But in most of cases, uh, we don't need the pictures because uh, we see uh, the, copy pa the passport copy is fake. Right. It's fake. Right. Why do we need pictures if the passport is fake? Right, right, right. So we can verify that the passport is real or fake. Yeah. On the, on the professional scammer check. Okay. Okay. Um, Dima, what information do we need from our clients uh, to be able to do the scammer checks uh, that are agency based? So, guy met girl on one of the big sites or any website, and he typically sends us a link to their profile, and often that's about all they say, and they say, please, can you tell me if this girl is real? This is what I'm getting all the time. It's 90. I don't know, 5% of the scammer check requests I'm getting. Uh, uh, I, what do we I say see. to those guys? I say, yeah. Uh, well, um, once again, my, uh, I will say the same thing. Men have to be realistic. So if they provide just uh, the link to her profile on Anastasia or Charm Date, and uh, we have only her first name and her age, it's impossible. Uh, to find out if a person is real. It's like uh, I'm asking you to find a certain 35-year-old John in your John in US. Uh -huh. You you won't be able to find it. It's uh, and another problem, uh, there is no need 
uh, to find uh, that uh, if she is real or not. As I told you, in most of cases uh, for dating sites and marriage agencies, uh, pictures belong to real uh, the real woman uh, the problem is not if she's real or not but if she's motivated or not and in most of cases uh, she will be not she will she will not be motivated so uh, what we can do uh, is to check uh, her motivation so um, how can we do it? if you have if uh, if you have only uh, her profile link what can we do mm -hmm. we can analyze the picture Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we can see uh, the meta tags of the picture and analyze uh, uh, when it was done, which camera it was done, with, was it modified with Photoshop or not. Uh, uh, we can uh, make uh, a search of these pictures, uh, where can we find, on which site we can find the mm -hmm. uh, same picture. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, compare your profile and her profile and well, I know uh, I'm, uh, I can easily say uh, if it's a uh, fake or, or not uh, by comparing mm -hmm. the two profiles because mm -hmm. um, you've been doing it for it so yeah long, so for, for so long yeah, over a yeah, decade yeah, so yeah, you know when you see this woman and this man <laughs> if, if there's a chance that it's real or not. yeah that, right. that's easy that's easy for me yeah. so uh, anyway anyway we'll be able to give you some information mm -hmm. but of course the more information about her you have the easier will be our task but anyway anyway will help you so send us uh, all you have about her and we'll give you the maximum of information uh, based on what we have from you. And what guys uh, need to know is that we really put our heart into this. So when you send us stuff, we, you and your team looks at, the person looks at the, the scammer check request, right? Looks at the letters, the pictures, whatever you send us, right? Um, does it all, it's a human thing, it's not a computerized thing. I mean, one thing we do is we run them through the largest database of known scammers. You have about 150,000 pages yeah, right now. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. So that's one thing, but that if that comes up negative, then the team does all these other things. It's, it's a labor of love, it takes time to do this, and we offer it as a gifted service because there's too many guys being scammed, and we just want you guys to know the truth and hopefully get you from uh, fantasy land down into reality where you can actually be successful in Ukraine. So uh, one thing I'll just want to mention is on the forum uh, you need to leave us your name, your email and your phone number. Uh, and the reason we ask for phone numbers is because a lot of the time we're missing key pieces of information and we need to pick up the phone and reach out and say hey uh, or we have a question because there's a the, there's something that doesn't make sense mm -hmm. in the profile. So we ask um, for your phone number. So please put your phone number in there as well because we might need to reach out to you, okay? And then we post the results in the forum, what, what we think, it's, it's fake or not. Uh, and you can also ask us to contact you personally by leaving your email. Uh, and we will endeavor to contact. Uh, yeah, this is very important email. to be able to uh, interact, interact with the client to get some supplementary information, uh, right. or to have uh, um, the history of conversation uh, with the lady. Or yeah, many many things. Uh, each detail can be very important in the scam search. Right. Okay, guys. What you want to do is, if you have a lady that you're seeing, you met online, paper chat, paper letter and you just really need to come to terms with um, whether she's real or not. I've been there, done that, so I know how you feel, I know where you're at. Uh, we we want to help you out, so go to the forum and register, but if the forum's not live yet, there'll be an email on the screen right now, shoot us a personal email, uh, send us as much as you have, the link to her profile, name, birth date, photos, copies of passports, whatever you have, uh, and we will do our best. Yeah. Analyze. The profile, the scammer check profile, uh, run it through the largest database of known scammers in Ukraine and Russia, uh, look into the meta, uh, metadata to see if it's been photoshopped. Basically, everything that you know how to spot the yeah. scammers in yeah. your decade yeah. plus. Yeah, we'll share our experience and right. we'll help everyone. And uh, the last thing, sometimes uh, men uh, so they fall in love in the profile so much mm -hmm. then even when you give proofs it was even in case of professional scammers that she's a scammer 
they preferred to believe the scammer. It's like that awesome because, picture of because, the... Because, because, yeah, I just break their dream... By, by, break by, their dreams. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's so, like that picture, picture of the ostrich with his head stuck in the sand, you know? They yeah. just don't want to believe. And I, I've been there myself, so I, I know where you're at. So um, send us an email with all our information, and we will reach back out to you when we have results. Uh, but when we have the forum live, uh, we're going to try to keep all of the information in the forum. So you will post your information. The forum will be live uh, before the yeah. video is live, uh, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we hope to have the forum live right away um, and we'll try to keep everything to the forum. Again, please give us your phone number because we need to reach out to you often because there's holes in the profile. We need key pieces of information to be able to be uh, as cl conclusive for you as possible, okay? So, um, that's uh, that's about that. You know, one Dima. Before I let you go, one uh, one story I want to just get your feedback on. I'm communicating with a guy, and um, he's uh, in a two-year relationship with a woman online. Never met her. She's in Russia. Um, uh, she's talking about buying her own ticket. She already got the visa, sent him a copy of the visa. Now she's t telling him, I'm going to buy my own ticket to come and see you. She really wants to see him. In my gut, it feels like a scam, but I don't have the expertise you do. What do you think of a, a case like that? I can't tell you for sure because I didn't see uh, those the copies of those documents. Right. Uh, I can see, uh, I, I can uh, give only my personal opinion. Um, in my uh, almost 20 year old experience, I remember probably only one or two cases when uh, a woman uh, came first to a man she has never she has never seen uh, mm -hmm. and she bought uh, tickets and she, she she bought everything on her own uh -huh. it was probably only one time in 18 years because we have we have discussed it uh, those, it's yeah, unacceptable. yes yes those are women with traditional family values and uh, they will not go to an unknown country to meet an unknown man to live uh, uh, especially to live with him in the same apartment mm -hmm. even even if it's not even if even it says, if it's not even even if it's not, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they just yeah. don't. They don't pursue the man. The man has to come to them, come of get course, them, come, come win them. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and another thing, uh, this is uh, well, uh, a man can think that it, this is the easiest thing because he's just sitting on the sofa and doing nothing. The girl is coming, but in the re in, in the in the reality, if you want uh, uh, the the result, uh, of course, it's more logic to come to Ukraine to meet several ladies and then to invite uh, the woman he has already seen and he is already sure it will work with her. Yeah, or is, has a good feel about it. Yeah, and this is... A good gut feeling about this is, the this is This is the winning strategy instead of looking for someone who will come to meet him uh, to yeah. be scammed, to be scammed, to be scammed and probably and probably, well, I don't believe in it, uh, to have one woman who will come and he will understand that the airport that is not a woman of her dream and he will <laughs> do something with her for two weeks of her stay. Yeah. Uh, no, but this like is... Like you said, I think the moral of this story is it's happened, what, one time? In 18 years, it's 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 twice. it's not even one percent. It's less. It's yeah, less. It's, it's less than one percent. It's the needle in the haystack. Yes. So yes. So probably in this story, let, let me see if you think I'm right. Probably uh, she's just really setting the hook in. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to buy the ticket. And at the last minute, you yeah. know, I had a problem. Yeah. I'm at the airport. You said even they say it, my flight's in three hours. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they like very good professional scammers. They do it last moment when uh, the man he has even the time of the plane arrival. He has already bought the champagne. It's already in the fridge. He bought uh, some flowers, and uh, he's about to leave to go to the airport. And at this moment, she's calling. And she's crying and she's saying, I was stopped uh, by Russian customs uh, uh, because I wanted to bring an old ancient a icon as a gift for you. And uh, it's a criminal offense. Yeah, it's a criminal it's a offense. A criminal offense. And <laughs> the, corrupt, the corrupted uh, Russian customs, they uh, asked me $2,000 uh, to, yeah. yeah, to let yeah. me go. Yeah, to me go. I love you so much. Oh, Champagne's oh. in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and there's all sorts of this. So, so the thing about the professional scammer is they take a lot of time and care to really hook mm -hmm. the man and make sure that hook is wedged in there. Good, yeah. he's invested her totally. He's in love with 
a picture. Yeah. So just, just be very wary, guys. One last thing. A lot of guys tell me, oh, I'm just going to come to Ukraine and hit the streets. Let's ch banter about that for a moment. Um, so say, say it's even a good-looking 40-year-old, 35-year-old. He's in shape, he's, he's attractive, and he thinks he's going to come and hit the streets of Kiev and meet somebody and be successful. What, what would you say to him? I will just uh, give some statistics to him. Mm, only 15% of Ukrainian women are, inter are interested to meet a foreigner. Open. Yeah, not even, open. Not, not even interested. Open. Yeah, right? open. Yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe. If, yeah, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, that's true. So uh, it's not uh, that easy even for us to find really uh, interested women. Mm -hmm. And so us being Ukrainian man. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I I imagine uh, you are on the street. So you need 15% only are open. But she also has to be single. She also uh, has to speak English to be able to communicate. Uh, she has to like you. Uh, she has to be like uh, same 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 uh, age range. Yeah. So so many conditions yeah. that. And, and finally... if she's out of your league, sorry guys, but if she's yeah. out of your league, it's not reality. She's not going for you. And culturally. Us Western guys don't know how to pick up Ukrainian women yeah, or Russian yes, women yes. because we don't know what makes them tick. We don't understand the language, the culture. <laughs> so I just chuckle when I hear guys say, I'm going to come and take my chances on the streets or the free dating sites, right? Which are loaded and mostly no, scam. It's scam. So it's just the reality is it's very difficult to, as a Western man, come and meet a sincere, honest Ukrainian girl. Right? Yeah. If you're age appropriate, um, you're, you're shopping in your zone of excellence, uh, with the help of an honest agency, yes, your chances of success are orders of magnitude higher than they are in your country, right? Yeah. But if you don't know how to do it, you need the help of somebody that's been there, done that, and knows how to help guide you to success. Yeah, that's right? true. Fair enough, fair to say. Yeah. Deem, it's been a pleasure. For me too, for me too. And I'm really looking forward to helping as many guys as we can yeah. with these, uh, this free scammer check yeah. and this Se free, free service. Yeah. Uh, send us messages, uh, all the information about uh, the woman you have and we'll, we'll, we'll do all we can to help you uh, and to, to tell you if this person is real or if it's a, if it's a scam.